We turn our minds to many things, the plight of animals, the suffering of the world, but we forget to love each other. We lose sight of the fact that everything is interdependent. The world is slowly dying because we do not care for others. We do not make friends with everyone. We do not touch the heart and the world at large feels it. Rainforests are decimated, animals are treated with cruelty because of the void in our souls, because we are afraid to love, afraid to forget our crazy masks and speak from our better part, speak from the depths of our minds, recognize the God, the divinity in everything and treat the world with respect. We are a part of nature's unfolding just as much as a tree or a flower. Our very thoughts and actions react on everything else on earth, from an amoeba to a mountain. So get your minds in shape and love your fellow man and woman. It's the only way the world will survive. Don't see things as separate. Don't act in a divisive way. Anger never overcomes anger. Anger is only overcome by love. This is truly the ancient way, as the wise Buddha once told us. So don't fall into the trap that it is modern to be detached. Modernity is eating at the soul. Abandon your man-made restraints and smile at all around you. Heal the planet you are part of. Learn how to be a spiritual friend to everyone and everything. Be truly alive at last. Cease to be just a mannequin, victim to a manufactured sanity. Throw off your mind forged manacles and look with pity at all around you. At all the faces that weep in anguish, at all the hearts that are lost. Let your light shine brightly. Don't hold on to passing phantoms. Learn what is real and what matters, what will lift the aching spirit and what will dampen the soul, what will inspire and bring hope and what will depress and discourage. You will see the harsh ideals that flood through mankind, that are imagined to be necessary, that are taught to be noble. We sow only what we reap, so be careful to sow only compassion. Be sure your seeds are of love by caring for your fellow man and woman. <clears throat> you cherish all that lives. Remember that and live it. Throw off your garments of doubt and dance the dance of freedom. Alive to all that is around you, attendant upon yourself and others. So let us not exist alone. Let us not forget our soul. The world has become fragmented, oblivious to why we are here. We act out a pointless drama. No thought for the real meaning of life. No insights into our divine heritage. No tender moments of kindness. No flowers for the ailing goddess. No smiles for the broken hearted. No food for the spiritually hungry. No food for the physically starving. No voice for the mute millions, minds that are far too insular, visions that are turned towards profit, soulless ideas dominating and ruling, principles of brutality lauded, sensuality replacing genuine affection, materialism infecting the researches of science, so-called realism polluting art and nature, all the great heroes losing touch, becoming criminal in their pursuits, selfishness everywhere present stealing away our dreams of brotherhood. It is time we realised just who we are, children of this shining universe, caretakers of this beautiful earth, lovers of our fellow creatures, gods and goddesses in reality, silent watchers deep inside our hearts, flowers in the garden of the earth, everywhere we turn is the muse. She steps into our very being, pouring creativity into our hearts, regenerating the very atoms of our bodies, giving us cause to hope 
and to love, giving us the inspiration to light the fires that will burn away indifference and fear. Even the eyes of our comrade seekers shine with a radiance that is uplifting. Learn to read the scripts of another. Our faith in the good, the true and the beautiful. Cast no one out of your heart, but strive to find out why we are here and to understand those we share this life with.